excuse me. <laughs> oh man. Okay guys. So I just wanted to make another video today. Um, just to quickly discuss things with you again. Um, I was super emotional when I posted and or made and posted that video yesterday, which would have been Friday, <laughs> May the 26th, I think. Today is the 27th. Happy Memorial Weekend. Um, one thing I'm going to get out of the way before I forget. I'm fixing to, and I'll probably wait and do it tomorrow because I'm going to post this one today. So, maybe tomorrow and Monday, or maybe I'll do them both tomorrow. I'm going to post my um, week seven and week eight, or week six and week seven, whatever ones I have uh, made, pregnancy updates um, for baby number two after BSG. So you will have those, and then I will just start making regular updates. Um, gotta turn this air down. Making regular updates from here on out um, since the cat is out of the bag. Actually, the cat is really out of the bag. I posted that video yesterday and I did mention that we had not been telling, um, you know, if you knew me in your personal life, that we have not been telling anybody. So if you could just keep it a secret or, you know, contact me and let me know that you know, that would be perfect. But one of my sweet viewers and friends was so excited for us that she posted something about it on Facebook and tagged me in it. So I have spent, um, Alicia, you know I love you. I have spent a majority of my morning calling and texting and visiting family that I wanted to make sure heard it from me. I'm not sure what time she posted that. I think it might have been sometime after midnight. Um, but when I woke up to it this morning, I had several comments from family and just like people we go to church with. And I, my messenger had blowed up. And I was getting some texts. I had a friend, a call from my friend Jessica, who I think had tried to contact Alicia because she knew that it was a secret too. And um, <clears throat> most of these people didn't know. And so, um, but they had all watched my videos and everybody has just been super sweet and we do feel super blessed. Um, I, we know, we know, e even if we weren't in, these, in this position, I know how good God is and I know how blessed we are and I know how lucky we feel to be able to um, be pregnant. Again, um, you know, it, I'm not gonna cry this video, so I'm not even gonna touch on it, but I can honestly tell you that six, seven, eight, nine years ago, um, we'll be married nine years in October, I did not think that we would be in these shoes. Um, you know, I guess maybe I did nine years ago. Eight years ago, I didn't. Um, I never thought that we would be here and that I would be the mom of two. Um, and yes, I count the new baby as two. I just feel so blessed and I don't know why. I don't know why we got to be the lucky ones. Um, Fertility sucks, and unless you have even barely gone through it, you don't understand it. And the loneliest, again, I'm not going to cry because I said I wasn't going to cry. This video is going to be an all happy go-to video. But I just feel like this needs to be said. Unless you have been through it, you never know how lonely is. That is the loneliest spot I've ever been in. Um, I was not this sad and lonely. I wasn't that sad and lonely when I weighed 400 pounds. You guys know my story. You know that I was a happy, confident, um, super morbidly obese person for the most part. But the saddest and loneliest I ever felt was during infertility stuff. And even this second round, um, with trying to get pregnant and it just wasn't happening. It is a really odd, it was just such an odd place to be in again. Knowing how blessed we were, knowing how lucky we were, knowing that my body was capable of doing it once and couldn't figure out why it wouldn't do it again. Um, it's just a weird, weird place to be in. So, if this is you, if you are struggling, if 
if I, anything I have said strikes a chord with you in any way, if you have any way felt the sadness or struggle with the infertility or just starting your journey with weight loss and this is your goal, just know that you're not alone and that there are, it's not just me, but there are other people in this community who love you and would love to share our story and our journey with you. I did vlog my last pregnancy also, um, not as regularly as I probably wish I would have, which was my whole goal with this weight loss deal. Um, but just know you're not alone and that um, I'm here for you. If you need something, reach out to me. Message me down below. Email me, S-A-R-L-Harrison at Hotmail.com. Message me on Facebook. Find me. Message me on Instagram. Just find me. I will be glad to talk to you um, and just give you a virtual hug if nothing else. Um, anyways, I probably don't have time to cover everything because I do have um, I do have something else posted um, on my phone, so it's I'm probably fixing to run out. But I did want to touch on a few things. If this cuts off, then then I'll just make a part two. But what I think led to this actual pregnancy, we had actually quit trying um, that particular month that we got pregnant. I decided not to take the Clomid. I was tired and angry and we had already been through two rounds and I had just decided we needed a break. Um, you guys also have heard me say that if we did not get pregnant by the end of the year, we were going to completely finish or quit trying completely. <clears throat> and uh, I do 100% absolutely positively think that my eating uh, the ketogenic lifestyle had a lot to do with it. Um, I was pretty strict keto in the beginning. I was having a lot of trouble staying completely faithful since January, but I was still working the program. And I absolutely, besides giving God the credit, 100% believe that the low carb keto lifestyle, which I know are not necessarily the same things, made a huge, um, is, is a huge reason why we were able to conceive and conceive on our own. Um, so if, if also this is you and you're in those shoes, I suggest you give it a try. I started that diet in August. We got pregnant in March. So what's the stats on that? August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. It took me eight months. Eight months. And guys, we've been we've been trying. Not actively trying. We've been actively trying since August of last year, but we haven't been using any kind of um anything for two years. So um I really I really, since August of last year, no, it was before that. Was it like January? I don't know. I've been keeping up for a while. Because I, I was doing it for a while before I ever told anybody. Um, so, I really 100%. And, you know, maybe it was just our time. Maybe it's just, you know, God's timing is always perfect. His timing and my timing are just, uh, so far, I've learned one thing in life. And it is never the same as His. Uh, but I do feel very blessed. Everybody keeps talking about having this Christmas baby. And I'm like, uh, no, ma'am. We're going to hold that baby in until after Christmas. I want to try to hold that baby in. I want us to at least have one last Christmas as a family of three. I have a lot of guilt. And I feel weird about, even though I wanted us to have this experience, I wanted him to be a sibling. I have a lot of fear and guilt about bringing a baby home. He's so little. And he doesn't completely understand it. I was five when my brother was born. And I know there are people who completely argue with me on this but I think that was a great age we didn't have that kind of time ideally I would have loved to wait um, and I think that my brother and his wife will probably wait that long um, or at least till Charlie Kate's four I think that's I think four or five it's really old enough to completely get it you're usually potty trained that can be so much more helpful and I mean I think it's always an adjustment when you bring a new baby home no matter how many kids you have whether you have kids uh, but I think that the understanding level would have been so much more. Oz is really used to my attention and one-on-one. -on -one. Um, we cannot super really afford it, but I have talked about with Ed picking up another cleaning job and trying to send Oz to a Kid Day Out program a couple of days a week. Um, although I've called about that and nobody's returned my phone call, so I may have to try again after school starts. Um, it's twice a week, but I just thought he might not need that now, but he for sure will need that come 
January. So, I don't know, a lot going through my mind, a lot going on, but I really just want to come on and say I appreciate all the love and support and the kindness and just that there was not a lot of hate and that you guys are always with me and behind me and always loving me and my family and I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. I could not be more thankful or feel more blessed. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning and I love you and we will see you later. Bye.